Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a druggist fold and why we'd make a druggist fold. So, in a druggist fold, the typical druggist, druggist fold is that it's folded in thirds from one direction and then the other direction. And then it's folded in thirds from the side and the side. And you could do the sides first and the top first or the, you know, you can do it in any order. And the idea is that you're going to put your powder in here. A lot of people like to do the fold first because then it kind of has little valleys to kind of help keep your substance in the middle. And I've chosen some nice blue substance so it's easy to see and track. So now I'm folding it, folding it, folding it. And then I'm going to tuck this in. A lot of people like to sort of fold those in a little bit so it's a little easier to fold into this tuck here. There we go. And I'm gonna tuck this in. And now I'm gonna put this inside another envelope containing my evidence. And the idea is that this is supposed to hold it. So, you know, it's going through the mail system, etc. And I seem to have done an actually okay job. Because it's not, but normally this would be spilling a lot all over the place. And actually, it contained it pretty well. But another trick you can use, so um, I had tried this on the first pass, and it was all over the table, so I thought I could show you that. Another effective trick is after you fold the first three, if they were all on one side and you fold it again, and then in thirds, this is almost foolproof. This is very unlikely that you're going to have any motion of the material. Now you can imagine if I put this directly into a plastic bag without ever having put it in the druggist fold, this is not going to contain this nearly as well. So this can really go through an awful lot of turmoil. And you can see that when the analyst gets to open it back up, the material is pretty much exclusively in that one corner. So I'm not losing all my evidence to being stuck in plastic bags or stuck all over the place. It's very easy for me to now collect this and do an analysis on it.